So, I think once I hit a point, it's gonna be pretty much blind after that. Can't make a dent. And I and I'll make that announcement when we get there. Yeah, we'll take all that. Get the stuff. I think I'm gonna rest real quick like just to pull that debuff off that pally Odorisi was always a bit obsessive but he was a good enough fellow I hope this was quick whatever it was I got his notes You place your hand against the pillar of Luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface. But it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers. Uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. My girlfriend? <laughs> Find your soul. In him. You concentrate, peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself, a churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you, the Anguithin ruin fragments around you. Breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust, falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in between, the Audra pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads, you catch glimpses of memories, your memories mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. Oh, shit. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. I really wish they gave us like a slider for the... for the voice acting. Like you could just turn it up like 1.25 speed and I'd be happy. I'm just like so goddamn Californian. She's talking so slow. It's hard to even focus on it. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind, 
Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Uh, I'm gonna push past the lost souls to find my own because I want mine. If you attempt to evade the lost souls and find yourself within Aethys, but the incredible power flowing through the gods' body repulses you. Not even your watcher powers can penetrate the massive tides of energy crashing through him. The souls sense your presence and continue to desperately cry out to you. Aethys's stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the god's heart, a force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys's brow. So bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord. The tether carrying energy from the Audra pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. Give me my soul back. I still have need of it, but do not be afraid, Watcher. Mm -hmm. Dawn will come for us all in time. What does that even mean? Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, <laughs> the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. The dawn will come. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Previously doesn't sound that dim bad. and flickering. The Kinda pillar now it. glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone, replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. Bam. As you return to the world, you feel a hand on your back. You all touch right? me. Come on, we oh, just got a... you back. I'm fine. I heard you say that before. Had something to do with a 2,000 year old lunatic talking to you in your dreams. Ah. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? Um. this turned tail as soon as he saw me not so tough now is he how i've missed your colorful retellings don't suppose he told you what he's up to did he or at least where he's going he was headed towards another pil pillar of luminous audra how hard can it be to find in a chain of thousands of islands ah you know not that bad Da ding okay Give me one second i gotta Gotta adjust my chat over here. Yoink. 
All right, let's get this level. And we'll keep doing, oh no, let's do scrolls. Scrolls are nice. And religion for the pally. Bop, bop. All right, or armory. Yeah, that sounds good. I get two, I do get two. We'll pick up, hmm, fast runner or two-handed? Or a little fence. Decisions, decision. Or red. If this was wow, I would definitely be a rep alley. Uh, I have not played the first game. It's definitely on my list after, after I've played a bit of this. I figure we'll roll it like uh like Star Wars episode one, two, and three, you know? Just prequel it. That better. Fifteen percent or a max of a twenty-five percent. Or E he uses melee, and I do have the AI on. He does kind of tend to run off. Don't think I'm gonna snag lay on hands. I got enough heals going on. Is it okay? I believe that. Those are ten things they uh, combat and such are things they tend to fix. In, in sequels and such. Every time when du dual wielding. Oh, no, no. Oh, with that buff. With that rep buff. All right. And give you some athletics, too. Going with metaphysics. Hey Edno, how's my mic coming through? It was cutting out pretty bad yesterday. I had bumped the gain. I get a little feedback because I can adjust it if it's if it's a little choppy. All loud and clear, alright. Super bump, two and a half hours of footage and it's just chopping through. When I was going through the throw it on YouTube. I almost just gave up. I was like, fuck this, I'm not streaming ever again. <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'll get over it. Ah, da, 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 da. The recovery speed would be real nice. Do I get one on one or just get uh one new point for fighter and wizard. All right. Ah, uh, do I want the stances or do I want the end of the fray? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Oh, Jesus, my favorite part. Blind. Da, 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 debuff. That could be good. That could be really good. Uh, 50 deflection. Holy shit. 12. I could be all right. Hmm, no. Mark forty five. Oof. Big oof. Uh, 
Fused AoE target and a push. Paralyzing stick in. More correct damage. Non veil pierce. Arcane veil has no effect. Axe made from fire. So that's like a that's like a a magic shield. It only really deflects from magic attacks. Like guns and swords don't count. Well, that would. I mean, he's up in the. Yeah, I want swords and such. Uh, we're gonna do. I don't know if I want to take mirror damage because I get the better one. Actually, you get like five different. I usually don't carry mages in my party because of this reason alone. They get too many spells and it's too hard to pick. It's gonna be like everyone trying to figure out what to eat when everything opens back up. Just like I don't I don't know. I got too many options now. I just I can't I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Everything's open. Bye -bye. Do you hatchets? I like that. Able to do hatchets. Hatchets are good. Fast. Commander. Fast. Not a problem. Okay. Right, and I definitely could use the DPS, but he's taking so much damage right now. I think I'd rather have mirrored image to try and pass off some of the damage intake versus the damage outtake output. You're doing it outtake. again. Yes, damage I outtake. Look like you couldn't beat a hollowborn in a personality contest. Kind of focusing on survivability in the beginning, and then I'll work on higher damage as everybody levels up. You want to share what you're seeing, or do I got to guess? Uh... Souls, dozens of them, maybe hundreds, are all going to the Adra Pillar. What do you suppose that's about? Maybe they got food in there. <laughs> yep, that's it. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. Of course, I'll protect you. You have our thanks. We appreciate that you showed us the way to the Audra. But what if it goes dark before we reach the beyond? Thank you, Watcher. Bring out your dead. Bring them out as you like. Now, heading out. Heading out. I might just not or C Street. I might just not do it. It's such a nightmare. There's so many looters in there. Just let that place burn itself to the ground.
that's horrible. I don't I don't want it. To the governor's house. Armor. All right. I messed up almost. One sec. Okay. What can I do for you? Ah, there's the box. Um, yeah, me too. I mean, if you look at the specs uh, on my Twitch page, my computer's pretty old. It was pretty good back in the day, but um, I mean, it gets the job done. At last, Belfetto, tell me, please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must... I must know. Um... I saw the same destruction Eothis wrecked on Kaidnua. Ordorisi is dead along with most of your anime. I... I see. And the work? Ordorisi's notes? Was there nothing of his research? The 970 is a great card. Six... I've had it for six years. Same card. And it's... Never given me an issue. I mean, until I tried to buy Borderlands like two weeks ago. The third one. And it was like... Nah, I can't play this shit. I had to refund it. Maybe sad, but you did. God that's all right. Be kind. I'll play it eventually. Belfetto, Belfetto, we are saved. <clears throat> that is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. You say this is all the work of the Titan of uh, Aeotis. And you still insist on looking for him? He destroyed your ship, killed my people. Would it not make more sense to sail to the far side of the world and away from all this? Priest, let's do the priest one. All my life, I've sought the guidance from the god. Ach, I do not doubt your faith. I only fear you will cut that life short. Aethas is using the Adra Pillars as an energy source. If I can find more, I can find him. Merla. He will ravage every outpost in the dead fire. That Adra is why we are here. Why everyone is here in truth. The Valian Trading Company. The Royal Dead Fire Company. Countless mercenaries. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. It was actually, I did some research when I got to this place on the first playing around, seeing how to play. And, um, it just runs like shit. And I looked it up and everything, and everyone, like, people got. 2080s TIs, you know, and they're just it runs like shit. They just never optimized Nekataka at all The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the dead fire. I'm certain she can help you That is if she agrees to see you at all Then that's where I'm going next and for that you need your sheep damn right. I'll arrange it with Ikawa between the two of us, I'm certain we can gather the workers we need. All right. Head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Finally, I'll be glad to be rid of this damned place. Best not to run aground again, no? Shut, shut up, Claire. Yeah. Safe travels, Captain. Do take care. Smart, creepy ass remark. All right, da ding. So, 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 so. Yeah, this is a toughie for the 
I already have uh, two people. I'm, I probably get. Uh. Yeah, they probably dropped an update that was just too heavy for it and just never optimized it. Just left it and said, good enough. We, we don't care if you're running 25 FPS in Nakataka. Like, nothing really dangerous happens there anyway, so they just didn't really give a shit. Bop, 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 bop. Maybe... I need to open chests because it's driving me crazy. I'm losing loot. Maybe I'll just have the rest of the druid open the chests. I'm kind of okay with that. I already have people to do scrolls. I'm the alchemist. You don't need bombs. You don't need stealth or sleight of hand. And I think that I'm gonna keep the resto druid with me. He'll take a uh, Zodi's spot since I'm I'm Zodi's. I guess I'm taking Zodi's spot. I get an extra spot, so this will be the extra fill. And we will do more metaphysics. Big oof. Nope. Not DPS. Sunbeam? <laughs> Eight second blind, that's not bad. Minus 20% action speed. Those raw AoEs make me nervous because I feel like I'm just gonna trash all my melee. Just hammer the melee out doing them. Especially with the, like if I turned off all the AIs and I was in charge of moving everyone around, I'd be fine, but I've noticed as soon as I drop an, uh, an AOE, the AI has just run right into it. That could be decent. That could be decent. 